Welcome, and in this video, we're going to use a table to evaluate one-sided limits. So we want to use, so we want to use a table of values to find the limit of g of x as x approaches two from the right and as x approaches two from the left, given that g of x is this function here. And then we're going to determine what this tells us about the limit of the function g of x. And now rather than use a calculator, I'm going to actually rewrite this algebraically. So I'm going to rewrite this and we're going to use that to evaluate our point, so our table at a few values. So if you recall, the absolute value of x is defined as x if x is greater than or equal to zero, negative f, if, excuse me, negative x if x is less than zero. And if you're asking yourself, oh, this doesn't make sense, why? Well, think about negative two. The absolute value of negative two is not negative two, it's positive two. So literally, literally what we just did was negative negative two equals positive two. So g of x, let's rewrite it in the same way, not define it, let's rewrite g of x. And so I have x minus two over x minus two. That's just one, and that's if x is greater than or equal to some number. If you remember your transformations of functions, you should remember that an absolute value, or sorry, not an absolute value, f of x minus a number shifts something to the right, so in the positive direction. That means in this case that x has to be greater than two. Okay, so otherwise we have negative x minus two in parentheses over x minus two, and this is just gonna simplify to negative one, and that's if x is less than negative, excuse me, that's if x is less than two. So that makes this table really easy to fill out. So let's see, what do we have here? This whole table on the top, all of these values are less than two. And according to our definition here of G, or our rewriting of G, if the value is less than two, we end up with just negative one. Now, what about this lower table? Well, all these values are larger than two, so all of these are just positive one. So what does this tell us? Let's start with this top table. I'll write that in purple. So the limit as x approaches two from the left of g of x is equal to negative one. And this one we can do in green. The limit as x approaches two from the right of g of x is equal to positive one. Now these limits do not agree. They are not the same. So I know that the limit of this function does not exist as x approaches two. Let's write that more formally since what I said was just kind of a vague mismatch of words that so doesn't translate into concise and clear mathematics. So this limit here of g of x, which is the absolute value of x minus two in the numerator and x minus two in the denominator does not exist. I will point out, oftentimes you will see people write equals does not exist. It's not quite accurate. It doesn't equal does not exist. How can something equal does not exist? It does not exist, so you can just write does not exist, or D&E. I hope this video was helpful.